This is the fourth part of my video review of the Century of Deformation Fire Rescue Core Fire Warrior Combiner Set. This time we'll be looking at uh, Not Hot Spot. And I say Not Hot Spot because he's a fire truck, even though um, the original Hot Spot looked kind of like Optimus Prime in the flat nose truck. But um, he looks, um, he's the same kind of fire truck that Sentinel Prime was in uh, Dark of the Moon. And uh, it's a pretty nice truck. It's got quite a bit of metal in it. Uh, these sides are metal. Uh, these sides are metal. Um, some of the internal, like the back plate of the robot, is metal. Um, I don't know if anything in the legs are metal, but uh, anyway, quite a bit of metal. Uh, not quite as hefty as the uh, not um, not first day, but still quite hefty. Wheels pretty well. Um, you can rotate this out. And on uh, this hinge here and this hinge here and then this can move up and down sadly There's no rotation and considering how this guy turns into the arms of the set um, I can kind of see why I think they probably could have uh, fit it in here, but um, uh, I'm not too mad about it Anyway, this is his uh, truck mode to transform it to transform it You're going to pop this up and then you're going to pop these side panels down Like this you know, rotate these two panels up, but you're going to start off with uh, this panel right here because we have that same hook design I showed you on uh, Not Scrapper. And so you have to pull this one up and then this one. And when you have those two up, that will allow you to telescope out the legs on this uh, double joint. Now, mine has a uh, another quality control issue, and I don't know how widespread these issues are, but if you look in here, a third of the hinge, like, there's the pin, this section here is fine, this section here is fine, but this section here is broken. The pin was put in a little bit odd so that the last section kind of blew up, and it was, um, it's, it doesn't look very nice. Um, so, I don't know how, uh, if I was just unlucky with quality control, or if these issues are quite systemic, or maybe I just got a really late run after Wei Xiang stopped caring about this uh, set anymore, because I know this set is actually um, getting on to be several months old now, uh, but anyway. You'll fold out the little toes here, and you'll fold out uh, the uh, halves of the ladder to form his heels. And uh, there we go, a pretty good start on the robot mode. Then you'll take um, these sections here, you'll rotate them up like this to give him some sort of wings on his backpack. And then here's the hard part of this um, transformation. You have to telescope up the front of the vehicle, which is kind of hard because you're dealing with um, quite a few tabs. Easiest way to do this is to unlock this and then just split the figure in half which you'll need to do for the um, for the combination um, you don't technically have to do this you can uh, do a perfect transformation but considering just how tight that telescoping joint is it's a lot easier to just swallow your pride and do it this way then you can um, reattach him at the waist fold this little tab down again to hold them together Fold these together, fold these, well actually I'll wait until I get the head out. You'll bring the arms out like this, which will let you bring the head out like this. Then you'll rotate uh, these sections up, and there's some little tabs on his um, neck plate right there that'll go into some little slots right there. So get those lined up, and then you can fold these up into the chest. And then you'll fold the arms down like this. Pull the hands out in here, and then there's some little covers for the um, a hollow portion in here. They don't do a too good of a job, but it's something. You do the same thing to the other side. And this side doesn't have a hand. This side has a water cannon or a laser blaster. Uh, something of the sort, but it's not a hand. Then you will fold these back up and fold this onto his back. And this is the uh, not hot spot in robot mode. And I really like the way this guy looks. Um, I, I could have done with some better hands, but for the most part, he's just a really cool looking robot. Uh, some paint here would have been nice too, but I love the head sculpt on this guy. And I, just, I, I like his proportions and the way he, he stands. He's quite bulky. Um, and he's not really that fiddly either. Like the worst of it is that you have to deal with this. And then his arms have some weird articulation. I, actually, I suppose there is the uh, double telescoping joint in here and the knee that can be a little bit annoying at times. But for the most part, he's a pretty solid figure. Now, the uh, for articulation, the head can rotate around 360. And uh, the head is on a ball joint so we can, can do some wiggling and looking up and down a little bit. Not too much, but a little bit. 
Your arms can rotate around. Not quite 360 because there's a little die cast tab here, but uh, you can get some a decent range out of it. You can rotate the arms out here or out here. And if you choose to have this as your outward rotation, then you have to use this as your elbow, which gives them those curling iron arms. You can rotate this around so that this is your elbow, which gives them some more normal hands, but then you kind of lose out on the outward motion. So it's up to you what you prefer. Now for this arm, it's not that big of a deal because it doesn't have a hand anyway, so you might as well just do it like this. But for this arm, it's a little bit different. Um, you have some nice leg articulation backwards and forwards in an out, rotate above the knee. You get a little bit of motion at the knee, and then you can uh, fiddle with the uh, feet here at several places if you want. Um, they're decent enough feet. And anyway, this has been the uh, video review of the um, not hot spot figure of the Century of Deformation Fire Rescue Corps Fire Warrior Team. And he's pretty cool. Um, certainly one of the better ones in the set, or um, at least he's better than the not first aid I showed earlier. But anyway, um, I hope you will join me tomorrow when I review uh, the last guy to set, and then the day after when I do the uh, full combination, because the combination is really, really cool. Um, thank you for watching, and please subscribe.